posited this question. Uh, gender free, hey, gender freaks, what do you do when you're at Penn Station in New York City? And do you use the male bathroom or the female bathroom? Because uh, if you look like me, people kind of give you a hard time about being a man in the woman's room. But if you go to the men's room, there's it's really, really dirty. And there's 150... Um, urinals like lined up along the sides and you have to walk back in between them because there's just like one cell very bad. Difficult situation. So, um, and I also want to point out that I know that people have even more difficult gender bathroom situations than this um, and even more difficult choices. But this particular situation I posited and my friend Anne, I'm going to read verbatim what she wrote because it was really awesome. She said, quote, I think the easiest solution to this internal dilemma is for you to come up with a catchy yet instructive song perhaps entitled, There's a Man in the Woman's Room, Not. It should rhyme and have shouty parts so little kids like to sing it on car rides, and it gets picked up by some Nickelodeon cartoon episode so that every child on the planet knows it. So the next time you get gender-checked by Myrtle from Iowa, you start to sing the first few bars, and then every child in the restroom becomes your instant ally as they start singing the song along with you and totally school Myrtle, and she cries in shame as even preschool children know that everyone in the world has the right to pick the bathroom that is safe and appropriate for them, Yet she had to learn this lesson in public from an impromptu pre-K Greek chorus. That's my friend Ann Griffith wrote that. So, uh, the chorus was very easy to write. Um, and I think ideally, the chorus, and I'm going to teach it to you now, so that while you're wherever you are on the July 4th weekend, if you're living in America or, or whatever that weekend is, whatever this weekend is celebrating, uh, other areas, uh, you can teach it to the children around you. Now, ideally, we all know for children, is that they, we should have some kind of like very, very cute genderqueer puppet. I don't have a very, very cute genderqueer puppet. What I do have um, is a sock that uh, I washed with something red, and it's pink now, with eyes drawn on it, right? So it's kind of a puppet kind of thing. And I also have this very cute uh, bunny left over from Easter. All right, so they're going to help me sing it and teach it to you so you can teach it to the children in your life. And we'll start this. All right, so it's very simple. It just goes, there's a man in the woman's room, not. There's a man in the woman's room, not. Everybody has to pee to leave my gender up to me. There's a man in the woman's room, not. See, very easy. Uh, and I'm not purporting to be musical by making a musical video. Um, I'm only good at being childlike and annoying. So, there's a man in the woman's room, not. There's a man in the woman's room, not. Everybody has to pee, so leave my gender up to me. There's a man in the woman's room, not. Thanks.